Hey guys, this is part three of my finding the start time videos. And that's because I'm gonna cross over hours and minutes. The I can statement for this video is I can determine the start time in hours and minutes when given the end time and elapsed time. The vocabulary you need to know is elapsed. So when finding the start time, the start time is unknown. You're given the end time, and for this problem it is 2.05, and you're given the elapsed time, which will be 5 hours and 35 minutes. So you make your t-chart as usual with the time on the left and the hours and minutes that you'll keep track of on the right. So because you know the end time, you're going to put it here on the left and that's 2.05 and you will label it end on the right. It's easiest to count back by hours and so that's what I'm going to do. However, I'm gonna go by single hours so I can cover what it's like when you go cross over from p.m. to a.m. or a.m. to p.m. So if I take away one hour, it will be 1.05. If I take away another hour, it will be 12.05. Don't forget that before 105, it's 1205. It's not 005. There's nothing that comes before 105 and our hours repeat. So if I take away another hour, it will be 1105. If I take away another hour, it's 1005. And if I take away the last hour of our elapsed time, it is 9.05. So right here I have all five hours of our elapsed time. So I'm going to work on the minutes. I have 35 minutes I need to take away to find the start time. Well, I have five minutes before I get to 9 o'clock, so I'm going to go ahead and subtract or take that away from this time and that'll leave me with nine o'clock. So I have, now I have 30 more minutes. And again, if you need help keeping track of the minutes, you can always do that to the side. So I did have 35 minutes of elapsed time and I used up five, so I have 30 left. Now, if I'm going to count backwards, which you do when you're finding start time, and again, it can help if you write that on the side or somewhere on your paper. I need to think of what hour I'll be working with before nine, and that's eight. So eight something is what I'm gonna be working with with start time. And I know that I have to count 30 minutes before nine. Now, you should feel pretty proficient with working with half hours at this point in fourth grade, but if not, that's okay. You can count by ones, fives, tens, or even fifteens to do so. I'm going to go ahead and count by that half hour that's left over. 30 minutes before 9 o'clock is 8.30. So if I add up my minutes here, I have 35 minutes and my five hours, which is what I was given for my elapsed time. And my start time is 8.30. Maybe you say, oh, I had a really long day on Saturday when I went outside and rode bikes with my friends. I came inside for a, late, a snack at 2.05 and I was riding my bikes and I was at the park and 
I was doing all sorts of stuff outside with my neighbors and everything like that for like five hours and 35 minutes. And if your little brother is like, yeah, what time did we go outside? You should be able to say, oh, at 8.30. Because if you work backwards from your end time and you have your elapsed time, then you can find your start time. So hopefully this video helps you to remember when you cross from a.m. to p.m. or p.m. to a.m. and also when you cross over from one hour to another when subtracting or going backwards with time. Good luck!